Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to demystify algorithms and learn how to create our own algorithm in just 10 steps. Algorithms are at the heart of computer programming, and they're used to solve problems, make decisions, and automate tasks. So, let's dive in and understand what algorithms are, and how to make one. Step 1. What is an algorithm? An algorithm is simply a series of steps or instructions that a computer program follows to solve a specific problem or complete a task. It's like a recipe that tells the computer what to do. Algorithms are used in various fields, from software development to data analysis, and they're an essential concept in computer science. Step 2. Identifying the problem. The first step in creating an algorithm is identifying the problem you want to solve. This could be a specific task or a broader goal. Clearly defining the problem will help you understand what you need to achieve with your algorithm. Step 3. Understanding the input and output. Next, you need to understand the input and output of your algorithm. Input is the data or information that your algorithm will take as input, and output is the result that your algorithm will produce. Understanding the input and output is crucial in designing an effective algorithm. Step 4. Planning the algorithm. Now, it's time to plan your algorithm. Think about the steps or instructions that your program needs to follow to go from the input to the output. Break down the problem into smaller, manageable steps that are easy for the computer to execute. Step 5. Pseudocode. Pseudocode is a way to represent your algorithm using simple, human-readable language. It's not a specific programming language, but it helps you outline the logic of your algorithm without getting into the nitty-gritty of code. Write out the pseudocode for your algorithm to clarify your plan. Step 6. Flowchart. A flowchart is another helpful visual tool to represent the logic of your algorithm. It uses symbols and arrows to illustrate the flow of data and decisions in your program. Create a flowchart that represents the steps in your algorithm and how they connect. Step 7. Testing and refining. Once you have a plan in place, it's time to test your algorithm. Try different inputs and see if your algorithm produces the correct output. If it doesn't, go back and refine your algorithm until it's working correctly. Step 8. Efficiency and optimization. Efficiency is an important consideration in algorithms. You want your algorithm to be as efficient as possible, meaning it uses the least amount of resources and time to produce the desired output. Look for ways to optimize your algorithm and make it more efficient. Step 9. Coding the algorithm. Now that you have a well-defined and tested algorithm, it's time to write the actual code. Choose a programming language that you're familiar with and start translating your pseudocode or flowchart into actual code. Follow best coding practices and write clean, readable code. Step 10. Testing and debugging. Finally, test your code with different inputs and make sure it produces the expected output. If you encounter any issues or errors, debug your code by identifying and fixing the problems. Keep testing and refining until your algorithm is work.